hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while I decided to make a video today because I came across this news about Azrael Clary and I feel as though it's not getting enough buzz and it was just baffling to me the way people are reacting to the news and that's why I want to talk about it so it's this news about her being targeted by a man by the name of Michael W. He's a 38 year old man. He um, is an associate of RK. And if you guys know who RK is, of course you guys know who RK is. He's been, he's, you know, you know who he is. So Azrael has been, you know, with RK for a while. And it was this whole big thing. I know I'm using the weird initials, but <laughs> um, if you guys know who Azrael Clary is, you would know who RK is. Okay, I have to use initials in this video. So anyway, um, Azrael is being targeted by an associate of RK that goes by the name Michael W. And it is weird because this is actually a scary thing. So the news is that Michael W. set Azrael's dad's car on fire in front of their Florida home. And as you can see, the car actually burnt to a crisp. And this is very scary to me because imagine someone actually coming to your home and setting something as big as your car on fire right in front of your front lawn. It is insane. And this is not the first time this guy has done this, or at least from what I gather, he tried to set the home on fire as well. And I was just, the first thing that came to my mind is, okay, this Michael W guy, does he normally does he check to see if there's anybody in the car or in the house before he sets fire or is he trying to do some very serious harm to Azrael and members of her of her family um and all of this was meant to keep her quiet from um going to court and you know testifying against RK and he literally admitted michael w admitted to doing all of this to keep azrael from talking about the case so <laughs> it's like this is like a movie and then people's reaction was oh wow because um the way azrael showed the photo of her burnt car she was kind of posed in front of it and showing you know the car like as if she was saying this is what happened to my car and a lot of people were just focused on the fact that she was posed in front of the car but you know it's like they were missing the point nobody was talking about the fact that her life was in actual danger and that she's actually being threatened to be quiet and nobody was talking about that everybody was just talking about why is she posed in front of the vehicle even though she wasn't posed i think people are so used to to poses of people like squatting and posing in photos but literally she just she was just squatting in front of the car and showing the car you know but people were focused on the wrong thing as usual i don't know what it is it's like when certain people are in danger a lot of People just don't see it. I don't know if they don't see it or they don't care or it just does not register. But the nonchalant attitude that people had towards this news was just very baffling to me. And I just kind of want to ask, am I missing something here? Um, is it is it 2021? Is it the pandemic? Has it made everyone just not care anymore about other people's welfare? Because this is crazy. This is crazy news. This is like something you see in like mafia movies i personally do not know of anyone that has ever remotely been associated with this level of threat so it is just mind-boggling to me and it's 
it's even less mind-boggling than the way people are dismissing it and nobody's really you know talking about the fact that this woman's life is in danger because of this man again so i just want to come on here and just talk about it i'm also wondering if this man is acting by himself or if he was sent by rk to do his dirty work because if he's an associate of rk then it means michael w is either still under rk's payroll or they're close enough friends that michael w is taking instructions from rk to do something like this because this is a this is a big step to take if um this guy this michael w guy has nothing to gain like he's he's gonna either be gaining something or he's doing it for a close friend but i don't know that rk does not have anything to do with this we we haven't heard anything about that yet and i believe phone calls and letters from prisons are monitored so if they discuss this over the phone someone would have heard about it and we haven't heard anything about that yet so it's possible this michael w guy is just acting on his own but i i seriously doubt it um but yeah this is crazy this someone needs to really you know take a step to protect this girl because it seems she really is in danger i don't know what her family can do to help her but this is not funny at all and her other family members live in the house as well and the fact that they actually tried um michael w actually tried to burn down her house did he go around to make sure there's nobody in the house before doing that you know like that's what i'm i'm worried about i'm not concerned about the properties because those can be replaced but when you're putting someone's life in danger like this to keep them from testifying that is that is quite serious to me and he was able to take a plea deal and admit to what he did obviously and he took a plea deal and it seems as though he might be getting a minimum of five years in prison you know if he is sent to prison for this minimum five years so i hope he gets some kind of punishment because this is just crazy he should not be able to be comfortable enough to do this twice to one person and um yeah i i also think that this guy um rk really is just digging himself into a deeper and deeper hole because now that people know that his associates are doing this kind of a thing to protect him this is not something innocent people do if he was innocent he would not be going to all this length to keep people from talking and it looks like Azrael is really um over the whole rk influence and she is willing to really talk matter of fact she's been saying a lot of things this is one of the things that she posted some time ago she said what if i had a video of r coercing me on what to say and exactly how to say it i wonder if the hate will stop then so yeah she's kind of been i don't want to say she's threatening to speak but it's obvious that she's over it and she's back with her family so she's not going to protect rk anymore and that's what rk is worried about but this actions that he's taking is not going to help him. He's just making things worse for himself. And I'm talking about RK here and sending people over to this lady's house to burn down her properties and her house. That's just not the way to go about it. That's just what I wanted to say in this video. This is just crazy. This is insane. This is just, I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. It's just crazy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next one. Bye, guys.